to the clear. <laughs> you guys are right. I have an Italian made piano right here at my fingertips. I don't get to say it often. This is the Numa X piano and I have the GT version which is the one with fully weighted keys. We're dealing here with the flagship model made by Studio Logic which is part of Fatar. Now Fatar or Fatar I should say is an Italian company and they're famous for making the keypad for a ton of famous synthesizers. This particular one is the TP400 wood graded hammer action. feels really nice and it has that escapement which is kind of that clicky sensation which is exactly what happens in pianos. In fact if you look inside you will see a lot of nice wood. You have this sort of lovely ivory feel. Obviously this is not ivory or ebony but it does feel like like a classic piano. It's very nice and, and you know when when pianos don't have that oh by the way have you subscribed to this channel? <laughs> I'm interrupting. Yes, please do subscribe. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I haven't mentioned that this video is kindly sponsored by Studio Logic, the makers of this beautiful piano. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was playing. So I have to say the keyboard is really nice. You know what's the test for a keyboard when it does this? You know, you can do that. If you got enough technique, which I don't always do. Right? So it's nice and heavy, but it bounces correctly, like piano style, right? It also has aftertouch. Right? And this GT version has this beautiful wooden cheeks. I like it. And now I would like to dig deeper into the Numa X piano sounds. So unlike many other pianos, Numa X piano has this beautiful, simple, easy to understand, immediate, performance oriented type of interface. So you have four zones here, you can turn on and off like this, all right? So let's go to the basic piano actually. I will get into how to make your own sounds on this one because I spent quite some time doing that. This is a basic sound. It's, you know, it's very well balanced and you can choose between Jer Piano or the Japan Grand. The USA Grand. The Italian Grand, Ita Grand. And uh, you can select also this Vintage Grand. It's pretty, pretty good, isn't it? And then we have the Aus Grand.
I don't know, I'm, I'm just going too far now. Blue Grand. Right? And uh, we got a pop grand here. Oh, notice that I am just selecting the sounds that are on this zone. Because the beauty of this is that you can enable multiple zones. So for example, if you press this, now you have these strings that come in. Because this piano is pretty much designed for the gig musician. So, you know, you need a good piano and strings if, if you're doing anything professional to any extent, right? But also, you can select a third sound, which in this case is the bass. And then I put some strings there. Right? Also, you can get more sounds from the website and upload them to the instrument using Numa Manager. See, this is Numa Manager, which you can also use to update firmware. And then, of course, you can lay the piano on top of that. Now, every zone can be an instrument or it can be just a MIDI out so that you can control different things. Like, for example, a vocoder. Stay tuned, I'm gonna use it very soon. So these zones have independent effects that you can use either as an insert or just as a master, just at the end of it. So let me show you, right? So if I go to the piano sound, I'm gonna mute everything else. Now I click on reverb and I decide how much I want of it. Right, this is a room. If I want to change the sound of that room, I just go to room two. Hall. I think that my favorite is actually uh, Cathedral One, I believe. Right? But also you can, you, you can choose various parameters, like for example, uh, how about the time? So yeah, lots of effects there. Obviously, this doesn't make only piano sounds. It also makes road sounds, like for example, the Mark I. And it should be noticed that this is a hybrid sound engine because it uses samples, but it uses also physical modeling. As I am about to show you right about now, how to craft your own sounds. I would start probably by choosing like an empty preset. So right here we have just the piano. Beautifully sounding. But how can I make it mine? So this is what you do. You press this and you hold it. Now you have controls, all right? New controls and these four knobs are the controls, yeah? So let me show you the tone of it, for example. This is a bit duller, almost underwater, and you can make it brighter. All right, but then you have controller number two where you have the string resonance, all right? So this is where the physical modeling starts showing up, right? Because you can go like this. So this is like completely non-resonance. Now turn it all the way up so that you can hear blatantly the difference. So 
See how it evolves without it? With it. Right? It's kind of, it's almost like a chorus effect in itself and I, and I like it a lot. In fact, I, I keep quite a bit of it in because I like that. Also, I like quite bright pianos just because like a good piano, if you, if you play it quietly, it's quite soft and smooth, but I want a bit of oomph, you know, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm hitting hard, especially with pop music, you know? Now you also have the duplex effect, which is basically like a sort of post-hitting resonance type of thing. Check out. Versus. You see? Without it. With it. Right? And then finally you've got pedal noises, yeah? If you turn it all the way up, when you use the pedal, by the way, the piano comes with these three pedals that mimic um, what happens on a grand piano in terms of pedals. So you got the noise right there, right? So. So how about, for example, if I, I don't know, change it a little bit and add some effects. So a type of effect that I would suggest is EQ. This effect section has so many distortion, overdrive, wah, which turns out, you know, to be very useful when, when you work with roads, as I will show you later on. Right? But for now, I will just stick with equalizer because I think that equalizer is, uh, is an important part, right? Especially in, here in the low end. You know, when you're recording, I don't know if, am I talking too much? <laughs> I feel like talking about piano today. Hey, you clicked on that thumbnail. What do you want? This is what you get. <laughs> right? I like that when the piano is played by itself, I like for the piano to have a nice and rich low end, you know, so sort of push the low end, right? So check out with uh, all the way to zero, all the way up, right? Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much, but, right? It, if you keep it like medium like this, you know, it's nice, but, if you, if you just pull it up, right, say 82, right? And also, I like a little bit of bite when I do this, right? So I may as well push the high a little bit louder. Yeah. Now, now this is the way I like my piano. You know, because you can play anything like this, like even Latin music. Right? Or you can be, you know, like super... assertive, right? I like that assertiveness, and I think that EQ helps me bring that around. Around? Out. I should say, I <laughs> can't speak anymore. Help me, Luke. So I am going to select a reverb. My favorite, again, is Cathedral. I'm gonna make it quite long, in fact. Well, let's put a little bit of it. Long, not too long. Something like this. Maybe, maybe I can use a little bit of uh, early refraction. Oh, it's already pretty high, but I want to dampen it a little bit more so that the reverb kind of becomes darker over time. Oh, I like that. Right? Let me demonstrate the Rhodes piano, because that is really, really interesting, right? So you have a selection of Mark I, Mark II, Suitcase. I'll, I'll quickly go through them, maybe without effect as well, so that you can listen to, to the raw sound. Mm -hmm. 
So you have a lot of choice here because what you can do, you have this new set of controls, right? So here you've got the amount of uh, hammer here, right? So this is zero hammer and all tines. We can remove the tines and just use hammer. You see what I mean? But also you can offset the position of the magnets all the way there, right? Then you add your tines. So you can make it more like a dynamite type of piano. Or you can change sound altogether and you go on the Mark II. All right, let me try and change uh, a little bit less tines, maybe a little bit of offset this way. Pedal noise is fine, maybe halfway. And now how about, if, for example, I use some effects. We have a chorus here. Right? So let's see what we have here. We have uh, flanger. Right? So how about if we try flanger 2? Facer 100? I love Facer on a road. <laughs> My heart will soar. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm gonna sing that later on with the vocoder when I'm gonna show you the very interesting feature that no other pianos have. Stick around for that, right? So let's try some more different roses here. This is the suitcase, the EP-70s. How about if we put a little bit of Ottawa? Right? We have also pedal walk, because if I have a pedal, I can wah wah, wah wah, like that. Oh, we have a tremolo. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Obviously, you also have all kinds of different keyboard sounds. Like the clavinet, let's remove everything. Maybe phaser. Right, yeah, we have clavinets, we've got sort of DX type of clav, we have up harpsichords. <laughs> have you subscribed to this channel? Oh yeah? And then you have, of course, selection of basses. But, you know, the more I dig into it, the more I want to show you the sounds that I have built myself. The Dr. Sounds, if you will. Well, I'm going to go to the Dr. Rhodes first. Because I basically combined a few different sounds, like a suitcase, an EP drive, and I've come up with my favorite Rhodes sound for the Numa X piano. You ready? That's a lot of polyphony as well. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna make this sound available to you, obviously, so that if you happen to have a Numa X piano, 
you can use them. Let me show you Dr. Piano. I'll show it to you in its fullness and then I'll break it down. You ready? Tons of polyphony, let me break it down. So, piano number one, I can just hold this, bang, and it goes solo, right? This is a uh, grand piano which I have given the treatments. It's got 87 on the low, it's got 64, 91, if you want to pinch those settings, right? And then I have put a synth pad. which is really, really cool. Obviously, you can decide the level of each sound with these knobs, right? All goes by four. Four here, four here, four everywhere, right? And then the third thing that I've added is the bass sound, which is this one. I've specifically chosen this one because it goes really well with the piano and it, you know, somehow it, it, it blends really nicely. Right? So what happens is that you select the entire thing and it goes like this. Right? So the surprise is the mixer. We have a mixer, a four channel mixer, which allows me to bang, push this button, turn this on. Do you feel this reverb? in your soul. Because when you go into the mixer mode, yeah, you have four channels, and by the way, you can, you, you have like a continuous gain that goes from microphone to line. It's very useful. Here's a reverb. You can put a reverb on it. Actually, I think you can put two, two effects in one go, and that's... That's just for the mixer. This is separate. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna add the pad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Let's add some bass here. to know how they put together these keys because they're really really nice shall i ask them maybe they will they will send me a picture or maybe even invite me to see how they make it if you want that you should write factory visit in the comments right now you've done it good thank you